I made it to a rogue river last night. Had a good camp spot. It's uh, Rogue River State Campground in Oregon. Very beautiful. I had a fire, called in the suburban, went to sleep. Um, good trip so far. I'm in Seattle. I landed this. Luckily, late last night, I found a little place to be in Seattle where I could sleep in the car in this little campground. I have a little creek down here and no fires or nothing, so, but I went right to sleep. And I'm in the flight path for SeaTac, so there was a plane every minute and a half. But I'm going to go look at this rocks down here and see what's down here. Oh, there's a little squirrel right there. I threw him some apples. This rock bed here. I finally found this place last night late. The campgrounds from Portland clear to Seattle are uh, drama, drama, drama. You can hardly find any place to be. It's all city for 150 miles. But I slept like a rock. I'm in the flight path for SeaTac. So until I fell asleep, there was a plane every minute and a half right over my head. But then I didn't wake up till 8.30 this morning. I needed to sleep so bad. No campfires allowed here. But I, my bed in the car is super, super warm and comfortable. It's so nice. I have a little creek right by my site. But I uh, was looking at the rocks. <sighs> And I saw these over where I'm going to walk across this water. Look at this. It's like big shells with barnacles in them. So I'm taking them with me because they have... Because they're so unique and it'll be a memory for me. There are berries everywhere here, but they're not ripe. But look at these. Is this the salmon berry? Can I eat these? There's a lot of these here. There's what the plant looks like. Can I eat this? They look totally like I could eat them. I'm afraid to eat them, of course. I need to get my feet clean anyway. But the rocks all look the same to me. It's not like where we live, where there's, you know, a bunch of beautiful rocks. But you have taught me that the bowenite looks like just a rock. I guess if I had a sunnier spot, I could actually spy out some of these rocks. But I'm not seeing anything. They all look like, I'm not, I don't know. I do have my clamshells for a memory. Jessica will fly in tomorrow. The beautiful, you know how Washington and Oregon are. Just beautiful, millions of thimble berries. This morning, not a leaf was moving. Not a leaf. It was the quietest tree place I've ever been. Almost like as if the trees were telling everybody didn't to not move and not talk and not anything. I don't know what it was, but all of a sudden, and I was in the back of the suburban waking up and I heard, uh, I looked out, I was watching how no leaves were moving and no, no, nothing was happening. And then one leaf moved and then another leaf moved. And then soon, the forest was alive as if it was sleeping also. It was crazy. Remember these from Oregon, these, um, um, oh, I forget what you call them. This piggyback or... In the morning, I am in near Hope, Canada. And the sun came up at about three or four. <laughs> so right now it's not even six o'clock and it's full live. 
and the speed limit is 75 miles an hour. There's Jessica. Hey, Nate, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Oh, pretty much it's gonna look like this until I see beautiful things. We've already saw waterfalls and amazing stuff. They're doing some kind of a project. Look at that up there. All right, I better drive. I love you. We are headed. We've almost done 800 miles today or so, 800? I don't know. We are headed for the Cassier right now. Um, we'll be in the loop tomorrow, Jade World. And I'll turn this around, there's nothing Great and grand, except for the great territory of British Columbia now in front of us. There's Jessica. She's navigating at this time. I made a mistake this morning, so it cost us 90 miles. <laughs> when you make a mistake in Canada, sometimes... <laughs> Canadian flag. We're having the time of our life. We've been eating our dinners. Sorry, I will have to show you prettier things. Oh, I was hoping when I got to the top up here you could see the mountains in the distance. This has all been farmland. It's an amazing amount of Canada is um, farmland, beautiful rolling hills. And first we came into Canada, it's rocky and beautiful and craggy and all that. But the sun came up this morning around 3.30. So when we woke up at 5, I thought it was like 9 o'clock. Well, right now it is 9 o'clock at night. And we're having to wear our sunglasses. <laughs> The sun is actually still up in the sky. We're just behind a little ridge right now. Houston, British Columbia. Houston, British Columbia. Houston welcomes you. But it's amazing how Canada isn't exactly all like you think it. There's such beautiful rolling farmlands and amazing stuff here. This is just the end of the day, so we're just headed back into the mountains. We're going to go over to the other highway so we can cut across and get into Alaska. But we got to be at Alaska by Wednesday night, so we're pushing the fold here. In a lot of places we went to Rock Hound. It's been crazy. Anyway, I'm coming into this little town. It's a beautiful lakes. get caught by a mountie with a phone in my hand. They charge the car? Nope. Don't, don't, Jessica, please don't. Hey, Mama. Shh. Bear! 
<laughs> I'm glad I had that on. Woohoo! My mom and baby. Be careful. Did you see it just munch in the dandelion tops? Yes. The, were they still dandelions or were they the puffy ones? They were dandelions. Okay. Bear poop. Alright. But we may have just saved the bear's life in that guy's truck because I flashed my the eye beams at him so he knew something was in the road. And he swerved around it. Oh. All right, bears. Thank you, Jess. Yeah. They're so be such beautiful animals, really. Oh, that's the closest I've ever been to a real bear. Oh, really? Of course. Beautiful Canada. What was it? My family. Hey Nate. Um, it is 9.30 at night. I gotta put my sunglasses on to actually send this to you. I wear my sunglasses at night. <laughs> it's too bright. Um, yeah, 9.30 at night. Yikes. We are 400. 59 miles from the border of Alaska, so we're in Yukon Territory, Canada, on the Alcan. Fire! <laughs> so we're not asleep. <laughs> no, but when the dark hits, I'm out like a light. Bam. 800 miles from Anchor Point, Nathan. We, we chewed up the bulk of it. We are approximately 15 hours from there. Your mom's going to have to learn how to tell time like an Alaskan. Because we tell it by the hours, not by the miles. It's a little overwhelming when you have to be like, Oh, it's only 560 miles to the next town. But these peaks here, the ebbs and the flows and the valleys. And your mama. Is it gonna be mad at us? No, I don't even care. 
with you. Grizzly? Yes. Eating the dandelions. Oh, the window down. Please don't put the window down. He's eating. Look how cute he looks. Is he grumpy? No. It's, they're surly animals. Bye, thank you. Nice. Grizzly, Cluan, Lake Cluan, Canada, Yukon Territory. Oh, here comes a big truck. He's not on the road, is he? No. Lake Cluan, 10.30 at night. Thank you for slowing down. It was like finally somebody warned us before we came up on something. He slowed down because I flashed my flash was that I think he's taking pictures too. Yeah. Do you see the difference between the size of the blackies and the grizzlies? Yeah. He's way bigger. Yeah. That was All a right. male. That was a male. After he was so pretty, you know what he was doing? Swinging his head side to side, eating dandelions. The um, he was like that, <laughs> eating the dandelions, and he was making that noise. And <laughs> and he was so cute, but I think he just came out of hibernation. All of the hair on him was rumpled up as if he'd been hibernating all winter, and he looked so like he just woke up. I think he was just down there eating the greens and stuff to start filling his belly before the salmon start running. He was so cute, but he was just eating dandelions the way he was biting at the dandelions. He didn't even look up at the cars, but we probably a truck was coming anyway and we warned the truck so the truck slowed way down and anyway he was so beautiful and then I saw a giant red fox. Um, he looked like a lion. He had so much puffy hair and He was just looking at the road like Really grumpy too, and then I saw a big horn deer and then we saw the butt of an elk Big horn sheep. sheep not uh, lots of deer and and we saw lots of deer. Too. We saw lots of deer too okay. Such a beautiful trip. It's been very exciting This is the Alcan that's going into the bigger populations now. Glen Ellen's the biggest city now from Toke. So, really beautiful. You know, the lupin are out and flowers and just beautiful. It's been a wonderful trip. We have not had any mishaps. So, it's excellent. We're just praying to get to Anchor Point as soon as we can today and the sun was up burning last night around 10 30 it wasn't even an hour away from sunset i think what time did we go to bed 11 30. somewhere like that yeah. somewhere around 11 30 and we had to shut the curtains anyway the bear was beautiful and that was jessica's footage because i was shooting him too with my phone forgot to push the button so jessica sent you her polo because I didn't push my button, but we both had good footage of him. But he was just so cute while he was eating the dandelions, the way he was swinging his head and biting at the dandelions.
Glen Ellen, Alaska. Um, we're about six hours from Anchor Point. We're almost done. We're stopping in Wasilla for a minute and head out. We're almost to the end of our thing. the Matanuska Glacier. Amazing. And you see all the black, the dark in front that looks like soil? Yeah. That's actually still all glacier. It's just the dirt as it's melted, it's sitting on top of the ice. Oh, so the end would be like Furthermore, where the tree line is. Yes. Wow. And as that melts back and melts back, then the trees move further up. And there are rocks there that no human has seen in how many millions of years? 10 billion. The Matanuska Bla Glacier. Matanuska. Amazing. I thought you might want to see that. I do. It is so sunny and warm, it's hard to even see. There's the road we're gonna be on over there. There's our truck. Oh, what's that right there? A rock slide or something, Jess? What's that? Yeah, just a rock slide. Woo! Pretty intense rock slide. Oh, it's beautiful. I think that's the closest I ever been to it. You smell that? Mmm. Mm. That's the alder. Right here, the little bushes. Oh. Cut down. All right. So I came down to Homer today to look to see if any of the deadliest catch boats were in. This is Catch Mac Bay. And Homer Spit goes out to the end. It's packed with people because it's Friday. That's a small boat harbor. And the big boats are down there and they won't let you go in. So I 
I can't see if any of the deadliest catch boats are in there. But somebody that Jessica works with gave me two signed posters and a bottle with everybody on deadliest catch. Captain Jonathan signed it and um, Captain Lee. Anyway, catch Mac Bay. Oh, my first camping trip in Alaska. First camping trip. We got the fire on. We got a little bit of firewood to burn here. There's Erica. Happy Alaska. We're camping at the ocean. Across the way over there is three volcanoes. Yep. Tent, uh, tent, 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 tent. Camping at the ocean. It's beautiful. First camping trip in Alaska. It's my car. It's Kylie. I just finished metal detecting. We'll do a cleanup in a minute. It is 9.30 at night. The sun came out. And my metal detector this beach. This Jess and Johnson. Suburban. It's been very warm and comfortable. I just wanted to show you the beach and the boats. They all metal detecting. Some of these black rocks. day. Sun's up. It's 10 o'clock. There's our camp over there. We just have this for the kids. Here's my cleanup. The silver thing. I don't know what it is. A ranch off the beach from a thousand years ago. Hot wheels, tent stakes, a few pull tabs, some bullets, a lid, I thought that was a ring, a nice fork. Add it to my travel wear, that thing, whatever it is. Some good aluminum, a cork, a pen. All Zinkins. I just wanted to show you the, I'm just, I sleep in my car so I'm super warm and toasty. And there's the sun, 10.30 at night, just trying to get down to the ocean. It's crazy. I think I'm starting to be able to sleep, though. We're right on the coast. <laughs> Thank you.
millions of vehicles. A tractor pulls the boats and their trailers out to the water on this beach. A big tractor, he drives in the water and puts their boats out for them. And then they go out and fish and then later he goes and gets and pushes their trailer in and they drive on their trailer and he drives out of the water. They don't have a boat launch here. <laughs> Our camp. There's our camp over there. There's the ravens at our camp. And they got something. Oh my god, I think they got the donuts. Oh, yep. Anything you leave out, they just come. Get out of here. Oh, for heaven's sakes, they probably got the whole box. No? What are you guys doing? What are you actually getting here? Oh, the tortillas. that had a twisted tea thing on top of it. They missed that box of donuts. <gasps> there goes the eagles. Right through here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the, the eagles try to land in a tree and like six of these ravens jump on them. I don't know why the eagles don't just beat them up. There's one over in the parking lot. There he is. Oh, there's two of them. I was fishing down here and a really old eagle came down here. He's just standing there. I gave him three herring. Hi! He has a hurt leg or a hurt foot. Well, I gave him three here and he got him before everybody else. I threw him right to him. So many eagles here, they all want the... You're so handsome. I never saw an eagle like this before. He's literally just 20 feet away. 
Hi, my gosh, you're so handsome. You look bigger than everybody else. Are you old? I'm sorry you have a hurt foot. Why don't you go eat off the pile over there? And there's whole big ling cods and helicopters over there laying there, a giant pile. You're so handsome. It's the closest I ever saw an eagle before. He looks really old, but still really handsome. Still camping, I think I'm on day six. Beautiful campsite. So, fire, and then we have ocean, and the, you probably can't see them, but five volcanoes in the distance. And eagles galore. Actually, uh, Erica found this rock, and I don't know if Polar will show the colors. It's pink and blue. Isn't it beautiful? Erica found it. The lines are so beautiful. I'm sorry. Rain cover, table, making tea now. I panned some gold on the beach. I didn't find any color yet, but I'm gonna go deeper. They used to get gold here a long time ago. I met my sisters waiting for her to get off work. I camped at Halibut Cove for six days, which I sent you the pictures but of. But it. it's really quiet out here. And, and I sleep in the car and the sun came out today. And this is where her grandchildren play. The ocean is right there down there down her road. And so I can go down there and look at the eagles every day because it's on the way to town. So God, a moose and her calf. Johnson just alerted and he didn't run in Randy's driveway. I was sitting right there by that red thing. She's in the driveway with her baby. I put the dog in the house. Oh my God. I'm on the porch of the house, I'll go in. He went right in the house after he alerted. He's such a good dog. She's a walking up where the grandkids play. If I get a better shot, I will, but I gotta stay on the porch. I don't see where the baby went. Guess I won't be sitting there for a minute. <laughs> I wish I could get a shot at the baby, but I can't go out. They'll come out of there in a minute. They play with that swoop, that uh, buoy thing over there. But I can't step out. I'm a chicken cat. <laughs> that up close and personal moose experience we're all hoping for until it happens. <laughs> Look at these dandelions. They're amazing. Alaska has a million. Oh, the Blue Jays are yelling at him. Well, I'll wait for a second and see if I can get the baby for you. That's the Blue Jay yelling at the moose. I'm sure that's going to be effective. It's the baby moose. She came down into the yard. I thought they were going around, but... The baby came around and she came into the yard. The mother is going to be down there in a second.
Famous Salty Dog Saloon. Thousands of pairs of underwears are hung up in there. I guess it's totally gross. I'm not going in, but my sister bought me a sweatshirt from there. It's the most famous sweatshirt in Alaska. Salty Dog Saloon. Homer, Alaska. The Homer Spit. The moose are plaguing our campground today. They're right across from us, and now another person just pulled in here. I'm getting ready to jump in my Suburban. Every time a camper comes in here to find a new spot, they start looking like they're going to run right to our camp. <laughs> Look at that one looking at Laney like, yeah? fire pit. They've been in here all day long, so you can't just chill. That's a baby one, like a year old. I don't think my mosquito spray is going to work on these guys. I guess it's just camping in Alaska. Richard and Tara's dog had babies the minute they got out of the motorhome yesterday. We had to put the swimming pool up and Mindy had three babies, two girls and a boy, right here in the campground. It took her an hour to deliver three of them. Well, I hope they're wandering off. Thank you.